Here are the rankings for movies, dramas, and songs of year of 2017. Find out if your favorites are on the charts. Let's start with the best five movies of 2017. What is the movie of this year? At number five, the Battleship Island is listed. 30 billion won is used in making this blockbuster and it had attracted more than 6.5 million admissions nationwide. Pang Jung-min, So Ji-seop, Lee Jung-yeon and Song Joong-ki starred in the movie and the famous director, Yu Seung-won held the megaphone. The movie had a historical issue but more than 6.5 million people chose to see it. It is a bit wishy-washy whether it was a great success due to the big budget that had been put into the movie. And number 4, The Outlaws became a huge hit although it is rated over 19. It attracted more than 6.8 million. The number is still growing because the movie is still on the screen. The movie is based on the true story with the fast-paced action scene. Ma dong Seok, Yoon Ge-sang, and Cho Jae-yoon weren't afraid of getting hurt when filming action scene. Especially actor Yoon Ge-sang might have felt relieved considering that his previous movies didn't do so well. The only foreign movie took number 3 spot. Spider-Man Homecoming was released on July 5th and attracted 7.2 million admissions. There is a huge fandom also known as a Marvel Holix in Korea. So when director John Watts and actor Tom Holland and Jacob Batalon visited Korea for the promotion, fans went crazy. Tom Holland thanked Korean fans for being the best fans in the world. And number 2, Confidential Assignment took its place. The movie competed with The King since both were released on the same date. But the winner went to Confidential Simon for attracting more than 7.8 million viewers nationwide. Not only did it beat The King, but it had a second highest admission rate this year. Confidential Assignment is a story about North Korean detective and a South Korean detective assigned to be the same mission to go after North Korean gangs. Hyunbin's action skill and Yoo Jin's comic acting came across very successfully. And number one, this year's only movie that attracted more than 10 million admission is The Taxi Driver. The movie was released in August and attracted more than 12 million viewers. This movie was based on true story of Taxi Driver who got involved in Gwangju Uprising that occurred in May 1980. The role that Song kwang -ho played Mr. Kim sa was known to be a made-up name for the movie, but later on, it was revealed that it is the real name. A Taxi Driver is a story about the taxi driver who has to Gwangju for 10,000 won and gradually change as he gets involved in a historic event. Tears, rage, and the hopes that the movie's offer might have been the three main points that attracted more than 10 million viewers. Next up is 5 best dramas of this year. There are some remarkable dramas of 2017. We're about to find out the best 5 miniseries. What is the drama of this year? And number 5. KBS 5 for my way took the place. The drama successfully shared the feelings with the viewers in their 20s, 30s. Park Seo Joon and Kim Ji Won played a couple who used to be friends and An Jae Hong and So Ha Yoon played a pair who looked quite well together. The average rating was 10.9% and the best rating was 13.8% with their last episode. And number 4, The Emperor, Honor of the Mosque starring Yoo Seung Ho and Kim So Hyun. The average rating was 12.4%. This young couple looked so lovely that there was a dating rumor, but it was announced to be just a rumor. At number 3, SBS Whisper took the place. Lee Bo Young was praised for her acting in this drama. The average rating was 15.6% and the best rating was over 20%. The final episode ended with 20.3%. Shall we find out which drama girl ranked at number 2? With the average rating of 15.9% and fast-paced script, KBS Good Manager took the second place. Nam Gung Min was re-evaluated positively after this drama. Also, Juno from 2PM played his role So Yul very well. And number one is SBS Defendant. Some viewers said actor Ji Sung led this drama alone. Maybe because of that, the rating got over 20%. The average rating was 21.7% and for the final episode, it was 28.3%. These are the best 5 
although there are more dramas from JTBC and TVN. We excluded those because the rating standard is different from SBS, KBS, and NBC. But we picked top three cable dramas of this year as well. First, JTBC's strong woman Do Bong Soon had an average rating of 7%. Viewers enjoyed watching Park Bo Young and Park Hyung Sik together. Also, JTBC Woman of Dignity had an average rating of 6%. Both dramas are written by the same writer. Also, TVN Stranger got praised for its high level of perfection. The average rating was 4%. This drama had more attention afterwards rather than the, its rating. Finally, Top 5 K-Pop of this year. We're about to rank based on their album sales data. As you might have guessed, these names are already familiar. BTS, EXO, and 101 swept the chart. At number 5 and number 4, 101 took both places. Album To Be One released in August had 730,000 sales in album. Nothing Without You, which was released in November, had 600,000 sales. And number 3, BTS. Album that was released in February, You Never Walk Alone, had more than 750,000 sales. And number 2, EXO. Their fourth album, The War, had 950,000 sales. The agency officially announced that the number went over 1 million recently. Amazing! You guys can guess who took the number 1 spot, right? It's BTS again! This group is just boring up the Billboard chart in the US and on stage for many awards like AMA. They had sold more than 1.4 million albums. Like we mentioned before, selling just 1 million is amazing. We can definitely feel how popular BTS is worldwide. Of course, there are more K-pop singers and groups who worked so hard this year. The 17 GOT7 and Newest W sold over 300,000 albums and got ranked in the top tier. So, this was the summary for the best movies, dramas, and songs of 2017. How about making your own charts before the year ends? Thanks for watching. See you next time.